literally everyone is creating chat GPT videos on YouTube and the music community is not an exception either. So I thought I would go ahead and try to see how well ChatGPT can handle Blackmore style. Can he write like a deep purple sort of reef or a rainbow or a lake or something like that? But I made the mistake of checking ChatGPT without actually turning on the camera. So a couple of days ago, I had a really big laugh when it was giving me these results. And uh, I left it for a couple of days, so I didn't want to instantly turn on the camera because I already you know, missed the opportunity to capture my first impressions. But I'm opening this up now, sort of like a, at a second look, and, uh, and we'll see how well it goes. I will put it on the screen somehow. So the first thing I asked ChatGPT was to write me a guitar riff in the style of Richie Blackmore. And so you can see on the screen what it came up with. So this so far sucks, obviously there's no rhythmic notation in here, but it's, so let's see what it says. And this is why I laugh so hard because this is just an amazing bullshit generator. This riff uses a classic pentatonic scale in the key of A minor. Now that's right out of the gate, not necessarily correct. Which is, uh, uh, which is a common element in Blackmore's playing style. Oh, sorry, that, that, that's definitely not correct. The riff also features a repetitive pattern, which is a hallmark of his style. Well, I guess riffs are repetitive patterns and incorporates a combination of legato and picking technique to create full, uh, a flowing mel melodic feel. Now, of course, you wouldn't know that from Tab, so it might be a good piece of information. However, <laughs> let's check out the beginning. The riff uses a classic pentatonic scale in the key of A minor. Well, this is not a pentatonic scale. This, these three notes are not on any pentatonic scale. So to me, these would be the first three notes of a D minor, natural minor scale. Or you can look at them as like the second set of three notes from the A minor full natural minor scale. But the A minor pentatonic is just... Even if you add the blues note, that's this E flat, not this F here. So it is in no way correct. The only thing comes to my mind how I could rearrange this as sort of a riff is if I think of this as a uh, an E Phrygian dominant. So against an E. And we are the, I mean, open E string. So the first thing comes comes to my mind is Ariel. So in that respect, it is somewhat vaguely similar. I obviously I did this video a little bit so it won't be like like a full hour with, with you know <laughs> all that time wasted on me trying to make sense of it. But I kind of thought about something. So it is basically in the key of E, but I guess I could go for like like A in the um, in the in, in the verses. But the riff would start like how ChatGPT wrote it, but then I would of course uh, differentiate it. <laughs> that train of thought but but this could be one thing could be and, and that is basically 
uh, every rainbow song. Just moving between your root chord, but in this case it would be A, and the minor sixth F. Because I know that I said that I would play in E Phrygian dominant, but that's also uh, the parallel of a harmonic minor. So I guess it would, could work that way. But my other idea was that... Uh, well, I don't even remember it now, but, but you heard it, so you can, you can go ahead and stay in E. So, so far, it's pretty crappy, but I've managed to come up with something usable. The next thing I came up, or I asked ChatGPT was, write me a riff in the style of Deep Purple. And <laughs> this was just amazing, <laughs> amazingly stupid. Uh, as you can see on the screen, it's basically just uh, like, not even a power chord, so just a dia, the double stop of, well, I guess a D. <laughs> So, just by itself, it sounds to me more like Queen or Brian May. That sort of stuff. Uh, but, let's see what ChatGPT's bullshit generator says about this riff. This riff uses power chords. Well, these are only two notes, so it's not really a chord yet, or not called a chord yet. Which are a staple of Deep Purple sound cool, well, tell me a rock band that doesn't use power chords. Uh, different source of this riff also of your driving rhythm and slightly bluesy feel. Yes, I guess they were going for kind of a highway style vibe, which are common elements in the band's music. That That's true. Additionally, the use of a repeating pattern, uh, always a repeating pattern, and the emphasis on the root and the fifth notes of the chords are hallmarks of the band's style. Yes. If you think about Smoke on the Water, for example, that's a root and the fifth, just it's obviously in the key of uh, G, not D. But for the sake of this example, let's jump to G. And what you play, the fifth fret of the D string is a G note, so that's a root. The fifth fret of the A string is a D note. And that is the fifth of G. So that's the first and fifth in an inversion. Not only like this, but this. So yeah, so think of, for example, uh, Perfect Strangers in the key of D. But I. Anyway, so getting back to the point, ChatGPT <laughs> just saying this is a deep purple riff. <laughs> that's, that's just, I guess, insanely funny and disappointing at the same time. What I kind of thought ChatGPT would come up with is like, I guess, like, like a river smoke on the water or something like... just came up with this by taking smoke in the water turning it around and I really just came up with this I didn't write it I didn't rehearse it just came up with this on the spot is it good mm, not that much not bad mm, I wouldn't say good either but then it sound like Richard Blackmore I think it kind of did well <laughs> it definitely did more than more than AI so the next thing I asked Jack GPT was write me a guitar riff in the style of Richie Blackmore's Rainbow. And uh, you can see what it came up with. So first of all it says that it's a Blackmore style arpeggio pattern. Well that's not an arpeggio because it's basically a scale, scalar stuff or scale, half of a scale it seems. So, so right out of the gate, that's my first impression, that it's not an arpeggio. The arpeggio would be a chord, the notes of the chord played differently. 
But what we have here is... Uh... playing this together with just the way of, 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 of pulling out the tab or creating the tab. So this so far now to me as you heard it kind of resolves it to a G. Yeah that's a, that's a G that's a G major scale. So right out of the gate, that's, that's I think it's not a good sign because Blackmore rarely used a, a major scale. Let's see, but I mean, ChatGPT starts it from, from B, so I guess that would make it the third mode of G, uh, which I don't know. So third mode of G major. What is that? A G major scale, what is the third? What are the modes of the G major? Well, it's B Phrygian, all right. That's uh, not, not, not the Phrygian dominant, but Phrygian, okay. So that's uh, sort of like your mom saying that we have Richard Blackmore at home, <laughs> you don't need to buy it in the store. Now uh, again, like to picking technique, the fluid melodic feel, yes, that's okay. Uh, the use of the descending pattern, the emphasis on the root, third and the fifth notes are chords, common elements in Blackmore, very generic. Additional, the riff has a slight progression, progressive, me, but slight progressive and mythical quality. Either you play it like a scale, <laughs> And that way it's barely anything, but rearrange the sequence a little bit and add some sort of uh, from rhythmic uh, separation. But in doubt, <laughs> try to add a low E string. Something black more ish. One last thing I wrote down write me a guitar solo in the style of Richard Blackmore. Now, I guess I'm using the free version, so it's only a lick, but as you can see, it's pretty outrageous. It doesn't really make sense just by looking at it because, yeah, so. And I'm not even thinking about, again, the mix of legato and picking techniques. Yes, everyone does that, and uh, yada yada yada. Just by looking at the tab. So, yeah, you hammer on from 10 to 30, and then, but what the hell is that? You should be bending from 10 to 12, is that bend? Is this, is this what, the, what this tab says? I mean, I'm, I'm not great with, with tabs like this. That's, but that's how I, that's how I kind of read it. B, I guess that's band, uh, H is hammer on, and I guess R is release maybe. So this, so this doesn't make any sense because it seems to me that, all right, you might be in the deep pentatonic realm, right? <laughs> All right, it's leaving out the, uh, the B7, but fine. But then... Except... That's... I mean, this, this, this could be a cool riff. Lick. In E. Doesn't sound like that more, but this could be a cool lick. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure what to do with this. But let me give you uh, a Blackmore lick. So if I were ChatGPT and someone asks, hey, give me 
a black morley. Easiest thing ever. Everyone plays it, Blackmore also plays it, so why not use this? If you want to make it a bit more Blackmore, let's hide yourself from Made in Japan. Alright, so these are all things that I previously searched at and quickly glanced through them and had a great laugh. Like I said in the beginning, I have not uh, captured my first reactions on camera, but then I tried to forget it for a couple of days and came back to it today. But let's let's do one live. What should be what should be look at? Let's say write me a Blackmore's ninth song, please. Maybe that's maybe that's how he gets the best results if we use the magic word. Sure, here are the lyrics to Blackmore's Night inspired song. Nice! It comes up with a ly lyric. Okay. Alright, I'm not sure where my strap is. Found it. Now, is this guitar in tune? Uh, definitely not. By the way, it could have been a Facebook Live video. Ban! All right, yes, yeah, so this is my Waterloo, which I use to play stuff like this. Deep River Blues, look it up if you like the song. So, it kind of wrote us a Blackmore's Night lyric. In the twilight's gleaming light, where dreams and legend intertwine, a minstrel's tune, a flickering fire beneath the moon, our hearts aspire. Uh, that's that's pretty much <laughs> that most likely indeed. So let's say the core let's say the chorus is underneath the starry light, we dance to the ancient melodies, black <laughs> black horse night, enhancing sight, guided by a realm of fantasy. Alright, the second half is crap, but the beginning, underneath the star night, we dance to the ancient melodies. That's isn't that every black horse night song? Let's see verse 2. Through the mist of time we roam, in realms unknown we find our home. Yeah. The tapestry of magic and grace, where troubadours play and fairies chase. Well, troubadour is not really... I mean, if I read the word troubadour, I kind of think of, uh, you know, the... from George Strait. If you're not from Texas, I guess you, you wouldn't know it. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going with this, why I, <laughs> why I took uh, up the, the electric guitar, I guess. I wanted to get some, um, some, sort of, some sort of chords behind this, even though the only Blackmore that stuff I remember is... something like that so that's again besides the point I'm uh, kind of getting sidetracked so well okay let's let, let's not do it in C that's not necessarily too like more slightly let's get the minor Okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's soldier of fortune. Maybe this, this could be 
uh, a chord progression. Like I said previously with Rainbow, when, when in doubt, now I said it for the lowest thing, but when in doubt, you need a, uh, a Rainbow chord progression, just go for an A minor to F, or basically root and uh, minor sixth. But you know, a major chord, just B minor sixth. Of, uh, of a, a minor. So, Twilight's green, where dreams and legend intertwine, and it's just to find the But I kind of I kind of made it a little bit more singer songwriting, but all right. So, you didn't need to hear me sing, so apologies for that. I'm not even sure what I wanted to get to this segment or this video at all. I mean, I guess ChatGPT is a great way to get, uh, you know, like a passing grade from uh, from uh, in school. So for a school paper, school project, I guess it could help. But uh, as basically any of the other mm, well, way more established YouTubers and better musicians already proved AI won't take uh, guitarists and songwriter jobs anytime soon. So I think that's a good thing. And uh, yes, I just want to see uh, how does ChatGPT deal with Richie Blackmore, which is, I think, is a notoriously difficult thing to get, not just as a guitar player, but as a songwriter. I think it's really hard to, to write songs like Rainbow. And, Believe me, I tried. I have an original um, song. I have a band and we are writing original songs. And uh, it's then near impossible to write anything that's that's Deep Purple-ish. And not an actual Deep Purple song copied in a way. So yeah, so maybe it's it was a long video. If you watched in the end, sorry again for the singing. And, uh, and thanks so much. Let me know if... What you th what you think of AI, and uh, an even better topic to discuss: Why is that more so unique, and why why is he so hard to replicate in any uh, any capacity? Let it be on the guitar, or songwriting, or just you know playing his licks or or riffs. So so thanks. It was something new to try out. We won't we won't we won't do this every week. So hopefully back to back to covering guitar solos soon. See you guys.